with my husband. Um, he's right there, Jonathan Smith. Um, so I have four minutes, and it boils down to, I could talk forever, and I talk all the time. I text math with really inappropriate things sometimes. Um, I was born and raised in Santa Cruz. Um, English is not my first language. I'm actually Polish, and a lot of Polish people um, came, migrated actually here to Watsonville. So long story short is, when I was little, the only channel that was on TV was um, uh, PBS, and it was all the cooking channels. And I couldn't speak English, but I could relate to the food. And my earliest memories were sitting like in the high chair, like making uh, banana bread with my mom and like mashing up bananas. Years later, um, I went to business school, um, Santa Clara, straight out of high school somehow, I have no idea how. Um, but I had better ideas, and I dropped out. And I went through a really rough time in my life. And um, I had two DUIs in one day, I was a hot mess. Um, so I got to a point where it was, you're gonna go to jail for a long time, or you better um, make a decision, and it better be the right one. So I had a sponsor, I uh, was clean sober, did the right thing for uh, like <laughs> almost two years. Um, you know, I had small seeds, I knew it was like good, you know. Um, but she told me, my parents one day said, you're doing awesome, but you need to get a job. Like, you need to get your shit together, right? So um, my sponsor said, well, what do you like to do? And I said, I like to cook. She said, why don't you sign yourself up for culinary school? I said, oh my god, my parents are going to kick my, you know, ass. And she said, well, just do it. I said, okay, I'll just do it. And that's kind of the philosophy that I've always gone by and by my mother, who's been like my biggest, you know, she's my, my, not idol, but yeah, I guess my idol, person I look up to the most and want to cry. But anyways, so I signed myself up for culinary school, and then that was the beginning of, I guess, 831. My husband, I kind of followed him, I went to um, Accordion Blue, I got amazing opportunities. Um, my very first culinary job was um, basically spent half the time crying, and the other half, like, trying to, like, defend my one, like, little station. And it was just, like, it was really rough being the only girl, and I was so young. Um, but anyways, it's always been, like, a triumph. And I'm not the best communicator. I'm not, like, the nicest person in the world, but I know how to cook. So I found my little thing, and um, I've been fired a lot. And so that's kind of what put me to get 831 as a food truck. And it was kind of, like, I've been, like, let go, and just my attitude takes over, or my mouth, or maybe sometimes some alcohol or something, but I can at least own up to my mistakes. And someone out there one day said, don't worry about other people, worry about yourself. So I like got my stuff together and thought, what can I do? So I buckled down and my uncle thinks it's his idea, so I got a food truck. So I went over the hill um, and I went, we went to a couple of different food trucks. I went with my mom and I just went to this one guy, I went to the Waffle Roast and I said, please teach me everything you know, I'll work for you for free, I'll stage. Um, but I want to own a food truck because I need to be my own boss because uh, no one else will work with me and I can't work with anyone else. So um, I worked for him for like a year and a half for free. Um, like we did off the grid everything. This guy is like now one of the most successful um, business owners and operators and he gave back to me so much. So that was my initial, um, that was my goal, getting the food truck and being able to pass along that knowledge to someone else. So I think that we possibly did that with Saucy's with Rob in the back. So we had Rob as well, um, and really between my husband and I, this is the only way that like I personally can give back to this community because there's been so many people that also like doubted, like, oh, you're not going to be able to do this in Santa Cruz, or like the laws and stuff like that. It's like, oh, you're a girl. It's like, I don't see that. I don't see color, or like, I don't see that. I don't see that I'm short. I don't think that I'm loud. Um, but it's just like, you just got to go for it, and you've got to follow your dreams, and it's just really having that drive and that determination, and like giving back to Santa Cruz, this is our way. Like we do all the like kids stuff and the animals and um, like we donate, we give as much of our time as we can. And sometimes we're late, but it's like the two of us. And so we're also hiring also. So, you know, we love this community and we actually live like right over the bridge. Um, we do not currently live, our truck does not live here. However, um, we would like to get in here, but we do have loyalty to Dollar Road. Sorry guys, but um, Time is up. So thank you guys for listening and um, yeah, we love Matthew.